Hello, so I am back with another reaction video. I realized that my previous one on The Last of Us Leaks was a bit polarizing. That's fine, but let's settle our differences on some fish, if you will. A, uh, kind of an old and already dead fish, but a fish nonetheless. Due to the controversy with the Nostalgia Critic's review of The Wall. He introduced me to the movie, in a way, and I watched it. I haven't seen this full review, I know of the iconic problems with it, but I saw the movie and I really liked it. I think, I think it was really good. And I've decided to kind of watch his review start to finish and see how that sort of shapes out. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And we'll commentate as we go. And now we gotta go to this and play. This episode brought to you by Honey, the easiest way oh, to save thanks. money when you're shopping thanks, online. Thanks, Honey. I'm glad Honey was into this. Okay, nice imitation of the original movie, the opening. Actually, it looks kind of similar, too. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm already getting compliment. The lighting, though. Like, it. Watch me talk crap about the lighting, and the lighting in this video is worse. Okay. But, like, the shadows on her face were so harsh. <laughs> and weird fun. Hello, I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. Pink Floyd the Wall, or is it. Also, I liked uh, Nostalgia Critic as a child, so... Waters described as a separation between a rock star and his audience. But it's okay. so much more than that, I think. When it came out in 1982, it got mixed reviews and did only okay at the box office. Many saw so it, it starts off like it's typical. Saying it's way it was just before dusk, one dark weekend evening, well on your way. Like there, that looked really bad. That was like you could see the green on the green screen on his face. Fading to obscurity for a while. The art house ego trip had But it's It's not really though. It's hard to find though. <laughs> what bargain bins are you looking in? <laughs> oh, we're back. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Oh. Dun, dun. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> uh, it's like there's no, like, it's very tinny. Oh. This is editing actually isn't that bad. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> Just use stills from the movie. Is this to get around? Oh, the, the effing flowers. And the hammers, yep. Is this to get around copyright? I actually really like this movie. Oh. He can almost sing. It's so much It's a good imitation of, of the character, but of Pink. Uh he's off tune. Wait. <laughs> Whoa. He talks about art house ego trip. This feels like that. Good old Pink Floyd made a move. Dude. Devoid of even the slightest bit of subtlety. What? The production was fancy. A way too damn angsty for adults to take seriously. Are you kidding me? I took it seriously. <laughs> Bowser cuffs. <laughs> See, that's... 
That's clever, the parallel to the washed up rock star. Whoa, what? What is that? What is that thing? It's crazy. That's actually kind of insane. Wait. But it was making. He was just making. <laughs> what is this, Hogwarts? Dude, that's so bad. That was bad. There are no good teachers, not one, not even by accident. We need more stuff. Yeah, that's what the movie was saying. We don't want to help you, we just want to eat your blood and suck your brains. Dude, it's. No, it's not. <laughs> what a horrible... Ow. That was so bad. The version of the children's choir. That looks like a PS1 game. It's like Spider-Man. Or PS2. Oh my god, what am I watching? Oh, that's... And then you show the movie's cool art next to you. Your stuff, so it really shows. Wait, what? what is this, like... Wait, but that makes no sense. Why is Doug among the... As the lighting is really harsh right now. I was critiquing lighting earlier. Great. <laughs> but they have editing in multiple takes. Wait, what? Some of these lyrics are hard to follow, hard to understand. World War II reference? No, it's just a bunch of kids being herded onto a train to a horrible, torturous... Oh, oh. Yeah, we're really comparing this okay. to high school? No, no, it's just meant to look weird and creepy. They're not implying... Bad. Wait, now Doug I know, is... I don't think there's a way to that? not connect that. Oh, come on, they're just saying school sucks. It's confusing. They're not making any connections to that. Now let's go on to the next song that talks about the horrors of World War II. Oh, they use the word that it's twice. It's just a coincidence. Maybe. It's fine. I don't know, it's... Bye. But... Okay. <laughs> Just spits out a bird. And it looks really bad compared to the original. Wait, what is that bird? It's not... <laughs> Eco? Was that supposed to be Doug's Eco? So... <laughs> Dude, it's way more subtle in the movie. Like, he's talking about subtlety. Okay, random shot of a cemetery. The clip art thing, and then it. Oh my god. It's World War II with monsters too silly. Oh, Roger Waters, well, your you monsters. Okay. But what is... But that... But the, it was all the point was that it's a, it's a compiling... A composite of the frustration. That's like the escalation of the movie. No, it is. But it is. Sometimes it's really hard to hear these lyrics. <laughs> Smoke a bog. Like, oh, what a great rhyme. Oscar Bates song, Smoke a Bong. Stupid. <laughs> Dude, I don't know 
what to think while watching that. Good. That means we're brilliant. Now I'm gonna go yeah, to same. a slow, slow oh, movie what? song. Haven't we had enough of those? Yeah, but we have had several of them back to back, so that'll really mix things up. Watch out how I do a sad song about being cheated on. So you're going but that's just how the album is. It's a slow album, though, to be fair. Hey, you. Oh my god, doesn't okay. this remind you of Jesus? <laughs> I'm like, Jesus! I don't want to I'm see Doug Jesus. shirtless. Feel sorry for me, I'm Jesus! But it's not Jesus, it's... The imagery, yeah, it's Jesus, but it's also, it's more about the crosses in the graves than it is about Jesus. I mean, there's a bit of a connection, but it's not all the, the Jesus metaphor isn't the most important part of that, whatever. It's more about the soldiers' graves. Is there anybody Shem. who cares? Okay. Do they have the same aggressive shadows that... I guess, okay, I guess it kind of works because you need to show that that shadow is there. Of whatever that is. Wake up. Are you still awake in that chair? <laughs> yes, yes, It's a lot of slow songs now. So is he critiquing the movie or the album? He's watching the boring parts of the wall. Oh, it's Cinema Stop. Check out Brad's channel, it says in the pop up. That didn't even rhyme, but whatever. At least the shadows aren't on my face. Interesting lighting right there. Like this, like. Look at the shadows and like everyone's weirdly lit. It's weird. Like if you're putting together a professional production, cut those shadows, introduce, like that's why I put this light here so at least I'm not shifting the white balance constantly. Oh, call out. Another Pink Floyd album. Dude, I would never be able to watch this if I wasn't commentating and creating video over a waste of 40 minutes. That's really lame. That's a really lame parody lyric. Wait, this is way out of order. I feel like. Like, I like how he's, like, trying to critique the movie being, like, boring and slow, but that makes his review boring and slow. <laughs> like, there, that that is not white balanced properly. His skin is, like, orange. I, okay, that looks a little better, but still. He does this for a living. He can depict a better room. Oh, I guess it makes sense because he has to be in that situation. But this, okay, so I dark bring room. That what I is don't that want other over there? To see. Now sober up or so, have an existential conflict. Either works for me. Okay. Ow. Again, lighting. Ah. God. Tungsten white balance, my god. It's blue. Why is... So n nobody did saw that and said, hey... Made me worry about overpaying every time I shopped online. Thankfully, what is he now doing? I have money. It's a free sale or discount on over 20,000 sites like Amazon. I bet Honey's very happy with this GameStop. video. That's dot 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 a lot of real life savings. With Honey, there's literally no stress when you see that promo Why code. Why did he read the dot dot dot? I just look at the money I saved. Like, where was the joke right there? A movie every... Join this is boring. It's a boring way to do this ad. Slash nostalgia. 
Thanks again to Honey for sponsoring this video. And I mean the website, not the dirty food. What the heck is he spots. doing? Go! Hey, oh, what? Like the music in this review will believe this is a double ad. Oh, are you I'm serious? I'm not even kidding. This was done by Rob Scallon, who appears oh, in the review. Oh, it's him. He has his own YouTube channel. He's just this incredible talent. And he's probably more really talented think he than... Himself with this I don't know this if he did this. is such a love letter to Pink love Floyd's letter. music and the wall. And you can love download the that album in the link below. All There's it. even stuff. So go check it out, man. Okay, I won't be doing that. Not buying that album. <laughs> Whoa. Person you hate. Welcome to the Echo Shaper with the Metal Gear font. <laughs> okay. I'm dressed as a Nazi. That looks like Sammy. Is that Sammy? <laughs> okay, that's alright. I like that. <laughs> yeah, Doug, you're so great, Doug. <laughs> Okay, that was. Uh, <laughs> I got some also, the, again, white balance. Just put that face here. Uh, that's smear. Come on, man. Look. Oh, yes, that's me. Stupid. Okay, so this is outrage culture. Yeah, there are. Coming from him. <laughs> Hashtag. What the? <laughs> Coming from him. That this is really cringy. Oh, I saw the wall up there. Okay. Ah! White balance. Look at how blue. We're over halfway through, thank god. This is so boring. <laughs> oh, smartphones walking. Oh, instead of the hammers. It's so clever, despite the fact that he's using the hammer. Shadow. Why is it like this? Oh, Just it's the pathologic. Me, oh, really you're great. <laughs> Set of the hammers. Oh, is this a response to hashtag change the channel? Not great, man. These weren't small accusations. These were big problem. What the heck is that, dude? They they filmed that wrong. They have so many takes. Oh, we're back to bad green screen. Instead of filming on location. Bring, bring review runtime then. How long is this review? 39 minutes. Bring the review down. Okay, crossfade. The is of Pink Floyd, the wall has led you here. Do you now understand the deep the, What meaning? analysis? There was no analysis. Do you understand the deeper meaning of what it's it is? He's not even to talking about the songs. Like how they're different in the movie. Or is it just a mi It's Sullivan Croft. Is that all like City Guy? Yes. Wait, what? Actually, um, I was. Uh, what? Is lace maker there? Is she there? Because I was. Uh, well, it's just. It's just a thing. Uh, shut the fuck up. 
I'm what do you mean is she there? She's a made-up character. What is happening? It's not exactly given creation all of its credit. Check it's out Fenno's channel. Shit out the Horcrux that Voldemort never meant to. I just want to watch this guy's videos. You know, a little more to it than that. Okay, plug in this video. Real, well, or his YouTube channel, mm, but the, that's um, the line tends to blur, you know. The subscribers subs thing. I can not speak. Luck, oh, that's that weird creature I've seen looming around. Yes. And when I heard you oh. were doing the much to be desired wall, that's I actually tippets, style over substance, showcasing a bunch of weird creatures and worlds, not a drop of intellectual development. Oh, this actress is no good. Ink. But you are a weird creature. I thought you'd be all over this. Music <laughs> is one thing. Film is quite another. The beauty of music is letting your mind steal itself. This thing's well animated. Say what you will about its design. I actually Imagine think it's decent. It's a decent design. Body. Fucking children do it. It's hard to turn those ideas into thinking, feeling, characters and worlds. And isn't that the point of a cinematic adaptation? To make a point? <sighs> it's clear that the music here does that fine on its own. I actually think, hot take, I think the creature is the best thing so far. Say, Something different. This film you have here, oh. It fails to truly connect us to those amazing creatures and visuals. A wall does no, indeed what? exist. And it that claim is faulty. Dreams it does. It's no and more than I am with this Make creature. Make us feel for the world. Make us connect to it. So we too can suffer with pink. I want to watch the other guy's the channel, part. though. You think you can make a case that the weird characters needed more development? Each one represents oh. something. No, oh, it's the no, trial. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, he's got another plaque. What? What is... That design is so strange. That's a woman? Whoa. I said I liked how well made Kitty. I will not suffer shitty. Those that bring forth not but pity for their lack of wit and mind. But here we roll the fine. That instrumental is well done, though. And artist, I say the music here is what joyous. are you? You're actually a really cool design. That looks like Nightmare Before Christmas. What? Lazy. Ooh. I just wish they give some nice instrumental. To leave. What? What? Uh, I'm not a fan of that one. What? Those shit, they done it now. We all deserve personality. They could have used us far more often than they did. But now they had to go their own way. We are bored of Alice. We want the header. Just five minutes more. Oh. Ever. Them and us alone. Whoa. This film's not bound by characters. It's a busy the dragon? This guy has some crazy creatures. And your honor, we can take that home. Okay, that one not a huge fan of. It's just this random. There's a difference between nonsense and thrall. What is that white thing? Genius and nonsense and creation. The evidence. 
Oh my god. Before the court is incontrovertible, there's no need for the jury to retire. Oh. In all my years of judging, I have never seen. Is she a judge? <laughs> Oh. I believe this film is apt with much to be revealed. <laughs> His face. Dude, I, I don't have much you would say. It's so weird. On the wall. Oh, God. On the wall. Okay, so that's just from the movie. And sounds really empty, that chorus. Down the wall. Down the wall, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> the Doug, Doug's face erupting the wall. <laughs> I swear that's like a, a royalty free. Oh my god. There's us. <laughs> okay. Bye. My god, That's this it. is bad. <laughs> We're stopping there. Well, Suicide Squad. Yeah, the movie did. And his own lie. review. Hell, I didn't even sing a song. What'd you even think of the movie? Well, the movie ended on such an open vagueness that it only makes sense that the review end on such an open vagueness. It's a review! That's literally the opposite of what that is! Okay! Okay. Like yeah, me too. A little full of itself, but good music and imagination. Fair enough. Wow. I'm a oh, critic. No. <laughs> I'm a reviewer. Since you got me. I like to find oh, it. It's a bit pretentious. Oh. Biggest hits. You mean? Oh, yeah. Also, the audio is slightly different there. Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Torbage and yellow and porous is he? SpongeBob SquarePants! There's nothing but nonsense, be something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants! And jump on the deck and float like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants! SpongeBob SquarePants! I think that's Lindsay Ellis over there. She's probably hating every second. Wait, no, she's. That's not. <laughs> Not gonna top this. <laughs> Check out the album. <laughs> I gotta see Fenna's video. Oh my god, that was wow. Hey, Doug wow. here, and since Corey Taylor was so amazing to come out and shoot this review with us, we let him pick the charity shout out this week. And I'm speechless. I really am. <laughs> The amount of time and effort they probably put into that. <sighs> Could have gone somewhere else. So that was the Odyssey into the craziness that was the wall uh, review. I don't have much to say other than Fena put in a lot of work. <laughs> only to be attached to a piece of crap and also have his creatures dragged through the mud, which I don't even know if they deserve. I, I think they're all right. Some of them are not as good as others, but he, he can animate. The guy can animate. Anyway, that review was bad. That's all I can say about it. It was bad. I was bored. I, I'm tired physically after it. The one good thing was it introduced me to the movie and that was actually entertaining and actually insightful and the animation was great i think it's interesting also how he doesn't really as the mic falls over he doesn't really dive into like 
the meat of like the production or or anything it does this with like all his videos too he doesn't really talk about context at all and context is really important for this movie because it is so deeply personal kind of like the album so i don't know why he wanted to do a parody album specifically but he did it people didn't like it though man that's all that I remember throughout that whole thing was the trial cover. Because the imagery was decent, because it was CG, it was animated. Whereas his music videos, like, we don't need no education. That was just, that was like something I would do. Which is why I don't do it. Like, the, the spinning, like, city animation with the guy, like, stomping over it. And, and it's like, oh, he's a giant. And then there's, like, oh, this... It's just... That is bad. Like, for somebody who's watched as many movies as he has, you would think he would know how to put together a review thematically. And for somebody who's created how many reviews? Hundreds of reviews. Like, why is he trying to be this avant-garde parody artist in this video? I mean, he's still kicking. He just uploaded a Scoob review. But that's a Doug review. That's not... He's not in character at that point. Is there anything else about it? Oh, basic production stuff. Doug, you're supposed to be professional. Use lights to cut, like... Back there, there's a shadow. That should not be in your professionally produced video. Hell, there were scenes where they, they literally, I swear they must have had it on uh, tungsten. H had the preset on the camera for tungsten lighting and not whatever lighting scenario. Ideally, if you have a contrasty thing like that, where you like have a window behind you, and it's supposed to be like, oh, the window is pure white and everything else is black, which is what they were going for. I think if they weren't, then they should have, and it's a mistake, because uh, <laughs> it hurts your eyes to look at. Like, it, like you'd have, have to fiddle around with your exposure and your white balance and things. It's not hard. You'd think that he would know this as, as a film reviewer. I, I, who, who uses the camera? Oh, I'm getting sleepy because of the wall review. Bring the runtime down. Like. There were shadows. The shadows were more intense than the one behind me right now. Because ideally you want... Uh, let's do a demo here. Ideally you want it so... No, that made it worse. Like, what you would ideally do... Great. Made it look even worse. But you would have another light over there. You would have another light on the other side to cut that shadow. Filmmaking. <laughs> You're making a, a, a parody album... Thing in the style of the wall. Use good cinematography principles. And I know that sounds really nitpicky, but it adds up and, and it kind of emphasizes like the gap between his critique and what he's critiquing. Not to mention the fact that he didn't really critique the movie. He it, laced within some of the lyrics were critique, but a lot of it could easily be debunked. I mean, uh, the classic example, I've even heard this, is the Oscar bait. Thing where it's like this song came out before the movie so it wouldn't be eligible for an Oscar and this like this jab at like the Jesus imagery it's kind of inherent to the fact that the soldiers graves are crosses but it's really more about soldiers and bloodshed in that way than it is about the biblical story nostalgia critic he loves making jabs at things that try to emulate the Jesus narrative. <laughs> like, he made fun of it in the Matrix reviews, he made fun of it in A Man of Steel, which, to be fair, Man of Steel especially is really on the nose with it. But in this, it's like, you're grasping at, like, a very minor part of, of the movie. Yeah, it's just, it's, for being so highly produced and poorly produced, there was not much thought put in. Despite there being a lot of time and effort put in, there wasn't much thought. That's what it felt like. I'm not even a Slipknot fan, but it's it's kind of a waste of, of using a celebrity in your, in your video. Um, he did have one really good line, though. It's a review! Or no, he's like, it's a review! Like, that was probably the best line in the whole thing, because you could actually just 
play that. You know what? Here's a good way to close it out. Let's read some comments on the video. Oh, no. And now uh, Fena is going to appear in my recommendations for a little while. <laughs> Imagine using the song about how Roger Waters felt when the troops came home from war uh, to complain about <laughs> the runtime of a movie. Ouch. There's a chance that everything I'm making and I'm, is crap and I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> Doug himself is a brick in the wall. The wall bad. Some balding. <laughs> this makes Minecraft parodies look like Weird Al. Yeah, people are roasting him. Because, like, what does he think he is? Weird Al? <laughs> Bring the runtime down. It's only 90 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's really short. Yeah, people are analyzing, like, the depth of, like, the critique of the education system and how he's overlooking that, and that's definitely a, foul, a big oversight. Or it's not an oversight. I'm sure he knows. He's just grasping at it. Like, he's just, like, trying to spin it to make a joke. But, like, if the joke is not based on something factual, then you are the joke. This makes me want to start drinking again. <laughs> Oh, man. This video started the spread of COVID-19. Ouch. God. Yes, this is worst review, for sure. I actually did lose respect for him over this review. Fena's characters, Tamara in a maid's outfit, were the only reasons he got through it. All right. But why, though? <laughs> I've seen harem protagonists less dense than this video. Corey Slipknot drowned his, or dis, I said drowned his son, <laughs> that's horrible, disowned his son. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did not enjoy that review at all. I am I would never have finished watching that if I wasn't making a video reacting to it, I'll be honest. That was bad. I, I actually watched the first minute i couldn't get through the song the first song it was it was bad and the whole review is that way so thank you so much for toughing through this with me it's an old fish but we gutted it uh and we endured it and it is still being gutted and at at the very least to doug's credit we still have an open comment section, so that's cool. What a video. <laughs> what a video. I'm tired. I'm going to bed.